Okay, so this is the uh, the uh, cable type channel streaming that I was talking about. Uh, on the plan I'm on right now, I'm getting 55 channels, and it's $29 a month. Uh, the middle plan is 70 channels for $35 a month, and the top plan is 100 channels for uh, $45 a month. Now that includes cable type channels, so it does not include broadcast channels like ABC, CBS, NBC, and so on, which you can get over the air with the an, an antenna and the right equipment. So we'll just talk about this here first. So let's look see what we got here. Okay, so for example, I can do a search uh, NASCAR. I'll say NASCAR. Okay, over here on the right, I see a result. Actually, I see several. There's a documentary down at the bottom there, NASCAR, the Rise of America and something. NASCAR Race Day, NASCAR Racing. Let me see what we got for that. Okay, so here's something. Oh, they have, offer ketchup for this. So they offer ketchup. They also have a cloud DVR. Uh, you can add, add shows to your favorites when you do this. All subsequent episodes are recorded on your cloud DVR. You have unlimited storage, unlimited shows. Um, they do disappear after about 28 days. So that's really nice. Another thing is you can join a lot of shows in progress. It's like if I go back here. Okay, now this is this is a program here, America's Newsroom. Um, if you look, see the little red bar down there? Uh, it's about two-thirds of the way through but I can go down here with my remote and I can go to start over and boom there we are it's starting over so even though I tuned into a program after it started long after it has started uh, I can watch it from the beginning and this is true of most TV shows I don't recall any that I've come across where uh, you couldn't do this. Of course, there could be some. I don't know. Okay, so what else do we have? Uh, well, you can see what you're watching. You can see what's coming up on this channel and so on. You can go down to my show. So I can um, I can mark a show as, as a favorite, and it's going to record all the episodes. Uh, here's one, Fear the Walking Dead. Okay, so here's... The most recent one, see it says DVR. Now it's got a bunch of episodes on here on DVR. Oh, okay, so it's got the whole, uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's got season one, episode one. That's got a bunch of episodes from season two that have been recent. Okay, cool. Uh, I can also surf through channels. Here's my favorites. So they show up first. Then it goes to recent and so on. Then you go to live TV and you can just look at different things. Recommended, I don't use that, but supposedly this is stuff that you might like and feature. This is just something they're trying to promote. Another thing, you can go back up to the top here next to search. Over here is the uh, the programming guide. So I can see all the channels, what's on right now. It's so like right now I'm tuned into Fox News Channel. I can see, well, Fox and Friends was previous. Now it's America's Newsroom. Happening now is next, and so on. And the red line is the current time. So I can go over here on Investigation Discovery. It's 2020 on Investigation Discovery. Uh, the Golden Compass looks like a movie. Then I have, uh, even though I don't have live broadcast channels, I can look at On Demand for ABC, Fox, and NBC. So for a lot of people, that would possibly mean they may not need Hulu anymore because those are primarily the channels that are on Hulu. No, noticeably, noticeably absent is CBS, which does not participate with Hulu. They have their own streaming service, uh, CBS All Access, which is $6 a month. Okay, so then here are the other channels. Uh, AMC, Animal Planet, Black Entertainment, Bravo, Cartoon Network, Country Music Television, CNBC, CNN, Comedy Central, Destination America, Discovery Channel, Discovery Family, Disney Channel, Disney Junior, Disney XD, Do It Yourself, E-Entertainment, ESPN, ESPN2, 
uh, Esquire Network, Food Network, Fox Business, Freeform, Fox Sports 1 and 2, FX, FXX, Home, Home and Garden TV, Headline News, MSNBC, MTV and MTV2, National Geographic, NBC Sports Network, Nick Jr., Nickelodeon, Nicktoons, uh, OWN, Oxygen, Pop, uh, Science Channel, Spike, TBS, Telemundo, TLC, TNT, Travel Channel, True TV, TV Land, USA, VH1, and Women's Entertainment. Okay, so that's the channel lineup. So again, I can tune into any one of these and watch those uh, live. Uh, a lot of programs, they also have catch-up too. So like if I go over here to USA, uh, let me see. Okay, CSI Crime Scene, Split Decisions. Is that the same one? Not the same episode. Okay, so they're not showing that particular episode. But if you look here, I have, I have several episodes under catch-up. So even though I didn't mark this as a favorite show, I can look at other episodes. This is true of most channels. Also, if I like this program, I go up here and I say Add to My Shows. Okay, and that will make it record all new episodes that are broadcast. Okay, let's look at uh, broadcast or over-the-air digital uh, television. Okay, so I have this up on my, uh, my uh, TV over here. And uh, let me just show you a few things. Okay, this is using an antenna. So I'm getting about 30 channels. Now this varies by your area. It depends how many channels you can get. It depends on what kind of antenna you need. It depends on where you need to point it. it depends on the equipment you need to be able to receive it. There's a lot of variables, and I can definitely help you with that. But let's just look at the channels that I'm getting right now. Okay, so that was uh, that was uh, NBC. Yeah. Now I am using a TiVo with this. So a TiVo is a digital video recorder. So I'm, I'm able to record my over-the-air broadcasts in HD, and they come out beautiful. I mean, look at the quality of that picture. It's excellent. Uh, it depends on what you're looking at this on. But if you're looking at a, on a high-resolution uh, computer screen or something like that, you'll see that it's excellent quality. Um, you will typically will get better quality than you would with cable or satellite because they compress the signal in order to fit all those channels into their broadcast. So um, when you're doing it over the air, each, each channel is coming in on a different frequency over the air, so it's not competing with bandwidth for the other channels. So they actually have much higher bandwidth than what you get. And bandwidth means quality. The higher the bandwidth, the better the quality. Okay, so that's uh, channel 4.1. That's NBC. There's another NBC. This one is a standard definition. A lot of the times, the, the, the stations will have two or three or four or five channels. The main one, or maybe the, the main two are in HD, and the rest are in standard, standard definition. Then here is uh, channel 7.1 CBS out of Spartanburg. And then they have uh, two additional channels. Uh, the third one is CW. Then here is some local uh, religious channels. There's five of those, 16, one, two, three, four, five. Then here is uh, Fox 21, Fox Carolina 21. And they have, I believe, three channels. It's either three or four. Okay, sometimes, sometimes uh, Fox is a little flaky for me. In my case, the broadcast channel for, for Fox is on the other side of Paris Mountain. Paris Mountain is in the way for me to get it, so sometimes I can't get it. A couple other independent channels, 28, 1 and 2. Those are both in Spanish. And then uh, PBS, the 29, 1, 2 and 3. Uh, look at the quality of this one. It's just uh, amazing very high quality HD. Then the sub channels are uh, standard def. We have other um, PBS channels. Sometimes we get these particular set or not. 
Looks like they're not coming in today. But I have other ones too that I get. Then this is another independent uh, station out of Asheville. They have, I think it's four channels. 40-1 and 2 and 3 and maybe 4. Then here's more PBS. I think these duplicate the programs on 29. I'm not positive about that. So I'll skip over those. Here's another independent um, religious station. Then here is another CBS and CW combination out of uh, Spartanburg. 62-1 is CW and then 62-2 is CBS and there's a third. So that's roughly about 30 channels. So for me, I'm paying $30 a month and I'm getting 55 cable channels and 30 broadcast channels for a total of about 85 channels. And so I'm paying $30 a month plus I have high speed internet and that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if any questions.